everyone, welcome back to Teach Nation. My name is Gifty. Today's video is all about my top three online platforms to use for virtual classroom, especially during the coronavirus season. Let's get started. My favorite, favorite one right off the bat is Google Classroom. Google Classroom, I used it when I was doing my internship in Canada and it's such a great platform because you can actually post assignments on it, your students can download it, they can also upload assignments that you have set for them and they can, you, you, can also grade, sorry, you can also grade the assignments as well. Also, what I, one feature that I really, really like about it is that if, let's say for example, you're teaching from home, which I am, and I'm sure like the whole world is at this moment, um, you can, let's say, plan your whole week of what you want to do during um, the week that you want your students. You can plan your whole week regarding what you want your students to do. Once you're done that, you can set a timer, or let's say a scheduler, I would say, of when you want it to be uploaded. And then once um, you do your you do your work, you hand out what you want your students to do. You post it online. It doesn't right away go on the website for your students to see. But you can put a schedule on there. So let's say, for example, you posted something on Monday, and then you want it to be uploaded on Thursday for your students to see it and do it. You can do that. So that's one of the features I really like about Google Classroom. And another great one I like is that you communicate with your students during this time. Your students want to talk to you. They can't see you. They can't, um, let's say, I don't know, my students love to give you hugs. They can't give you hugs and stuff like that. So Google Class is a perfect way to still communicate with your students during this pandemic time. My second favorite virtual classroom that I love is Zoom. It's a great way to even get tutors to tutor their one-on-one -on -one students that they're tutoring outside of school. And also it's a great way to just have your whole classroom in there with you. And what I love about it is that the whiteboard feature. As a teacher, I love using my whiteboard. It's just, I feel like, yes, I can speak to my students by using my voice, my actions and so so, but actually writing it down for my visual learners is a great feature that Zoom has. So you can have that and also there's a new um, feature that I noticed yesterday that you can have a raise up feature, raise up your hand feature. So let's say for example your students want to say something, they can raise up their hand and you can also use that within your virtual classroom for Zoom. Another thing that I really like is that you can share your screen. The same way that you're sharing your screen for the whiteboard, you can also share it with let's say for example you want your students to watch, you want to watch a film with your students. Like the other day, well before the whole coronavirus happened, um, we were reading Charlotte's Web book and we didn't get to finish the movie. So it would have been a nice way, let's say for example, to use Zoom to get my students all online and I can share my screen on YouTube. This is a nice Charlotte Web um, movie on YouTube for my students to watch it and let's say see the ending of the movie they don't have a copy of the book at home. So Zoom is like a great, um, classroom resource that you can use in terms of virtual classrooms. Ooh, one last thing about Zoom. What I love about it is that you can set your back your background for your classroom. So for example, if your students are into, let's say, I don't know, leaves or something, there's actually one of them that I used. There's a leaf background that you can use, like it's like a grass, like nature. So you can set your classroom and design in a way that I capture to your students to get them involved in the lesson. My last and not least third favorite virtual classroom that you can use is Class Dojo. You might be thinking, uh, it's not a reward system. Yes, it is. But during this time of the coronavirus, you can have access to your students and their parents. So for example, you can send messages to your parents, see how your students are doing. You can also send updates of yourself as a teacher, what you're doing at home, so your students can still feel your presence with them. And also, let's say for example, if you are using Google Classroom and your student is doing an amazing job on their work that they uploaded, you can give them points through Google Class, I mean points through Class Dojo to appreciate their work that they have done, although you can't say it verbally, you can type it, you can also show another incentive or appreciation using Class Dojo. So Class Dojo is something that I believe you can still use with distant learning. You don't have to be in the classroom to just use it. So it's just, yeah, Class Dojo. It's a great one. Ooh, last one, I forgot. And you 
create events on Class Dojo. This is a new feature that they just they added recently. You can create events. So for example, like I said in the other example of using um, Zoom for your home for your sharing of your computer. You can also create an event on class so and tell your students, oh, I, I don't know, 8 a.m. tomorrow, we're going to be watching this and so and so. So you can create an event and then get them all on Zoom um, to share your screen on what the event is about. So just a, a great creative way to get your students to be very still active in their learning and understand that they're not alone during this time, but we as teachers care about that. So those are my top three virtual classrooms I believe are so helpful during this pandemic that we're going through. Um, they're great resources you can use with your students just to keep in touch with them. Um, and yeah, so thank you for watching my video. And if you want more tips, please email me or message me on Instagram. I am available whenever you need me. And yeah, see you next time.